Hey everybody, it's Hello, it's Sunday, and I'm back for another video, and welcome to day 15. Have a nice day. Now, I'm sorry for the horrible lighting, it's really fucking dull today, so I'm sorry that it's like kind of a bit dismal. I'm hoping the quality of the camera is gonna be okay with it. And also, I'm really, really tired, so I'm sorry that this video is gonna be a little bit shit, but um, I, I literally, because I was watching Eurovision last night, I didn't actually go to sleep until like one, and then I had to get up at seven for work, so I've been working all day, so I've only really just got home, so I'm a bit kind of like, ugh, I've had like basically no sleep, so I got myself a coffee trying to perk myself up, but it's not really fucking working, is it? But now, I just wanna quickly do one little thing about Eurovision. I know obviously people are probably getting really sick of it, but this is the last thing I'm ever going to say about it for this year. But oh my god, right? Now, I don't want to get too angry because, you know, as much as I love the song, I don't think it deserves to win. But why the fuck does Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, I don't know how fucking to say it. How the fuck do they win? I honestly do not understand how they won because they did not deserve to win. Like, fair enough. I like the song, but they did not deserve to win. Sweden should have won. I'm sorry, but Sweden should have won that. The song was good for Sweden. It was really good. And it was, like, just awesome. And Azerbaijan was just boring. And, like, I liked it, but it was just a bit boring. And, oh my god, right, when they won, am I the only one that thought that girl sounded fucking horrible the second time she sang that song? She sounded like a cat being murdered. Like, she honestly, her voice was like, ah! And honestly, how the motherfucker did Italy come second? I mean, actually, how did they come second? Their song was atrocious. I mean, it was actually atrocious. Please explain to me down below if you watched it, how Italy came second. And how the hell did Moldova and Georgia get so many points? Sweden, you are the winner in my eyes. We should be going to Sweden next year. I was literally raping the Twitter feed last night when I was talking. I was, I was so sad. I was like, really, you're gonna lose so many followers tonight. I actually gained like 10, so thank you. But no, I was just like constantly tweeting all the time. Eurovision, Eurovision, Eurovision. I'm like, it's the highlight of my year, and now I'm really sad that I got away 365 days. Well, 364 and counting. No, but I mean, it's awful. I got away so long. Now, because this video obviously doesn't have much of a topic, I want to quickly just say some things. First of all, thank you to um, all my new subscribers this week. I gained 124. I've kind of tallied. I'm this sad. I'm kind of tallying each week how much I go up by. So last week, it's Saturday to Saturday, I went up 124. So thanks, obviously, for joining the Roli Ungashar experience, and I hope you stick around and continue you doing what you do because um obviously without you I'm nothing so um yeah thank you but no I'm, I'm just gonna get on with my comment of the day because you know this video is becoming stupidly boring and my first comment comes from Edgehead Junior I'm not sure how Hector how the fuck are you meant to say that I don't know, bloody know and he said I never heard about the Chris Crocker video I nearly gagged when you said it I never liked him now the reason I picked that is because I was literally standing right I literally finished work today and I was waiting for my bus to come home and I was just on my phone looking at comments and shit so I was reading it and then it just made me laugh so much and I just burst out laughing in the middle of the fucking street and people just looked at me like who is this creep? And I, I was laughing so much at that comment, it was just so funny. Um, I don't know why I found it so funny, but um, bitch, you made me embarrassed in the middle of a fucking ice street. So my comment question of the day today is a bit of a strange one, but I wanna know, if you could make up a new law, and obviously it stuck, like it was a new new complete law, what would it be and why? So just before I go, I gotta give a quick shout out to Beth. Hey girl! Right, so I'm gonna go, I'll see you tomorrow, have a fabulous day. Um, obviously like, comment, subscribe, spread the word of the Loli Ungasha, and I'll see you tomorrow, have a fabulous day. Com Comment down below, comment question of the day, what law would you make, and yeah. Ungasha, I will be popular, I will be popular, I'll get you when I'm popular. Copyright.